Now, anyone else I want to teach you something. If you want healing to happen to you, this is simple. The healing ministry is very simple, yet so many people are frustrated with the diseases which are failing to go. Healing ministry is very simple. Only if you understand how healing ministry operates. You see that man over there is going to be healed. You know, healing is so simple. If you understand one principle, that God wants to heal you. Two men went to Jesus and said, if you are willing, heal us. Okay? It's not your will to be healed. It is the will of God to set you free. So we don't use our will to heal ourselves. We use his will. So if I want to pray for you, um, just stand up. For example, you have pain over your hand, over here, and you, you are feeling pain. I'm not saying there is pain. No, there's no pain in your body in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now, for example, she's feeling pain over here. Now, you see what people do? People, when they're praying a prayer, they say, Father, I pray that you heal her, every pain, oh Lord. No, that's completely wrong. There won't be any healing. No matter how you pray, even if you fast, even if you command things to happen, there will not be any healing. What will bring healing? What is going to bring healing if you are doing healing there? What is going to bring healing? It is simple. Stand up. What is going to bring healing is this. Just You see? As I hold a hand like this, first of all, it is me having the power. It is not God. Jesus never said, go and Pray for the sick that I heal them. He said, go and heal the sick. The power of healing the sick is in the healer. So if I hold this hand like this, then I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the healing. Nothing is going to happen. It is actually me commanding what must happen over this hand. Never even look in heaven. Don't even look in heaven like, oh, you're having some image of God trying to heal you. <laughs> There'll be nothing like that. At that point, heaven stays quiet. Hell stays quiet to see what will happen. So when I lay my hand on this like that, in the Matthew 8 verse 2, the Bible says what? The moment I put my hand over here like this, all right, and behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. If you are willing. Telling Jesus, if you are willing. And what did Jesus say? Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Be cleansed. Jesus never said, oh, Father, we have a sick person over here. He said, be cleansed. The power of cleansing was in Jesus. In Acts 3, from verse 1, there was another story over there. Wonderful, fantastic story. From verse 1, now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. Verse 2, then the Bible says what? It says, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful. To ask comes from those who entered the temple. In verse 3, who sing Peter and John about to go in the temple asked for arms. And fixing his eyes on him with the John, Peter said, look at us, not look at God. Look at us. Peter looks at a man who is lame said, look at us, not, not look at God. It's you. If I teach you how to heal, the, you, you'll be shocked when you, go, when you pray for the sick. How will they be instantly healed? Even yourself. I think we must have some point in time series on teachings of healing. Yes. Now, now let's, let's see there. Now, the Bible says what? The Bible says, so he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Now, verse 6. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have, I give you. Did you hear that? Yes. What I have, I give you. Not what God. 
What me I have, I give you. What do I have? What do I have? See the scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. That's what Peter had. Why did he say, look at us? Now, if I'm praying for you like this, right? 90% of the healing of Jesus. He never prayed for people who are closing their eyes. And this is what happens with you. When you want to be healed, you always close your eyes. When you pray for somebody who is sick, they close their eyes. They will never be healed. I can tell you the truth. Because the point of contact is your eyes. If I'm praying for somebody who is sick and they didn't look in my eyes, they will never get healing. Oh, but Papa prayed for me. You look. Peter said, look at us. Did you hear me? He said, what? Look at us. That is what healing is coming from me. So when I look at you, when I say be healed, now when I, when I touch this, all right, you see what happened in Matthew 8, verse 2? Go back to Matthew 8, verse 2. What happened? All right? And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. In verse 3, what happened? Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, there was no close your eyes. There was nothing like close your eyes, let's pray. Our heavenly father looks so spiritual, but wrong. <laughs> so when I hold this hand like this, I am the one who is healing now. So it's in the name of Jesus. I command the pain to go. When I say be healed, then I say, She forgot she was closing her eyes. <laughs> the anointing is too much. The is too much, right? Yes. Don't forget. <laughs> so, if I hold he and I say, be healed, it is me, all right, who is transferring the power. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. That's why I can now say, check it. I'm not saying God says you are healed. It is now me yes. telling you to say, yes. you are healed. Check. Yes. So if there was a pain, the pain would what? Go. 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 Are you understanding? Yes. Did you hear me? Yes. Anybody who will you be praying for and they would close, you may have your seat. <laughs> like, uh, can you also add a financial breakthrough? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> No, we are talking about healing. <laughs>